This is one of the most well-known credit cards within the luxury travel space. And it is an absolutely phenomenal credit card. But today we're gonna to be talking about the updates that this card needs in order to become more relevant because it definitely needs some updates. Welcome back to Tito's Financial Corner, where we talk about credit cards, points and miles, as well as travel. Today, we're gonna to cover one of the most well-known credit cards, and that is the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card. This has been a staple within the luxury travel game, but in recent years, this credit card has lost footing to the American Express Platinum Card, as well as the Capital One Venture X credit card. So today, we're gonna to cover three potential updates that this credit card can do in order to refresh itself and become more relevant in today's market. Let's see if you agree with these updates. The first update is that this credit card needs a new updated and revamped welcome offer or welcome bonus. As it stands right now, the current welcome bonus on this credit card is 60,000 ultimate reward points after spending $4,000 in the first three months of this credit card. What's crazy is that the reserve's younger sibling, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, which has an annual fee of $95, has the exact same welcome bonus. So that's right, you could either have a credit card with an annual fee of $95 or have another credit card with an annual fee of almost $600, but no matter which one you choose, you're gonna get the same welcome bonus. It just doesn't add up, it's not the same. So this card definitely needs an updated welcome bonus. And we've seen that Chase has done that in the past. It has increased the welcome bonus up to 80,000 points as well as up to 100,000 ultimate reward points. But what we're saying is that this credit card needs a new minimum welcome bonus. If we look at its two main competitors, the Venture X credit card offers a welcome bonus of 75,000 points after spending $4,000 in the first three months. And the American Express Platinum card currently has a welcome bonus of 80,000 membership reward points after spending $8,000 in the first six months that you have this credit card. Now with the Amex Platinum, if you do a little digging, you can find a way better welcome bonus than what's currently available, up to 130 and 150,000 membership reward points. But that's neither here nor there. If we just go to their website, we could get a much higher welcome bonus than what's currently available with the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card. Going back to the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card, Obviously, it earns ultimate reward points, which can be cashed out at a one cent per point valuation, which means the current welcome bonus on this credit card would equal out to being about $600 that you can get back, which means that that would be enough to cover the annual fee for one whole year of this credit card and still give you about $5 to spare. Now, that sounds good. But again, if you look at its younger brother, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, that same welcome bonus would be able to take care up to six years worth of the annual fees of that credit card. Isn't that insane? The welcome bonus on the Chase Sapphire Reserve card definitely needs a revamp and we definitely need it to be higher than the current 60,000 ultimate reward points that's available. The reason that I'm bringing up the welcome bonus is that we all know that there's no way that Chase would ever decrease the annual fee of this credit card. If anything, they'll most likely increase the annual fee on this credit card. So if we cannot decrease the annual fee, then we might as well try to get a higher welcome bonus if possible. This is a great time to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button to help out this channel. The second point is that this credit card needs better general multipliers. As it stands today, you could get 5x back on all flights booked directly through the Chase Travel Portal, as well as 10x back on all hotel bookings, as well as car rentals that you book directly through the Chase Travel Portal. You would also get 3x back on all travel that is booked outside of the Chase Travel Portal. You would get 3x back on dining, and then you would get 1x back on everything else. The reason that I'm bringing up multipliers is that the 3x back on dining, which is great, it is an absolute highlight of the credit card. It is too redundant when it comes to the Chase ecosystem. And what I mean by that is if you start looking at almost all the other Chase credit cards, they all offer 3x back on dining transactions, which again, it's not bad, but we do need a little bit of variety. So is this specifically on the Chase Sapphire Reserve card? No. However, with it being a luxury travel credit card and the big daddy credit card that Chase has to offer, I would venture to say that if we get another 3X multiplier, whether that's on groceries or gas on top of the 3X on dining, that would make this credit card a must have, even with the annual fee. Now, in my mind, 
even though the Chase Sapphire Reserve card still offers better general multipliers compared to the American Express Platinum card, I would still take the Venture X credit card since it does have a flat rate multiplier of 2x on all transactions. The third update that this credit card needs is Airport Lounge exclusivity. As we already know, this credit card comes packed with Priority Pass, which would give you access to over 1,300 airport lounges all over the world, which is great. That's an amazing perk that this credit card has to offer. However, that is a perk that the other two credit cards, as well as other credit cards in the market, also offer. So if we start looking at its two main competitors, starting with the American Express Platinum card, it does offer the Priority Pass membership as well, but it also would give you access to the Centurion Lounge, which is said to have some of the most beautiful airport lounges all over the world. Again, there's also exclusivity with that specific credit card. If we take a look at the Venture X credit card, it would give you access to the Capital One lounges all over the world. Now, while there's not a lot of them right now, they are building more and more as years come through. So whenever you see a Capital One lounge, you know that the Venture X credit card would give you access to that specific airport lounge. If we go back to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, they do have the Sapphire lounges. However, the Sapphire lounges would be accessible to anyone that has priority pass which means that anyone that has a credit card that gives them access to Priority Pass would have access to the Sapphire lounges. So that's right, the American Express Platinum card would get you into these lounges. The Venture X credit card would get you into these lounges. A couple of other hotel as well as airline credit cards that offer Priority Pass would also get you access into the Sapphire lounges. So again, when we're talking about a luxury travel credit card, some exclusivity does come to mind when we're speaking about these credit cards. So it almost makes no sense that the Sapphire lounges that are directly connected with the Sapphire credit cards would be accessible to almost anybody whatsoever. If you're looking for a luxury travel credit card, wouldn't you wanna have some exclusivity? Wouldn't you wanna be able to say like, hey, this card gets me into this place and I know that your cards would not be able to get you in there, especially when we're talking about annual fees of $600 plus. So those are three updates that I would make on the Chase Sapphire Reserve card to make it into a much more known and much more sought after credit card within the luxury travel game. With that said, I definitely wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about these updates or are there any other updates that you would do on this credit card? With that said, if you found any information useful during this video, please hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.